you guys it's Renee so for this phone case I first started painting this with plain white acrylic paint I lost that clip of me showing you how I painted this but it's pretty much what I'm doing with this vintage white acrylic paint my phone case that I'm using is a clear acrylic phone case that I got online but yeah painting this with this vintage white I'm using this tiny bowl that I use for painting and I have a DIY showing you what this used to be then I'm going to be using pink red orange green blue and purple acrylic paints and that I'm not using the white one just ignore that one and I'm using this sponge dabbers I'm just showing you this as a reference of what this ones look like but I'm actually using this really stained and old one it's already stained I don't want to stain the new ones I am going to be using this as a dotting tool I'm going to be using that part I'm going to be placing my acrylic paints on my like painters palette pretty much just going with playing dots all over the place being random in my application I'm not following a polka dot pattern I'm just playing them randomly and just choosing whatever color just don't apply two circles of like the same color together yeah cleaning my big dotting tool I suppose with a brown cotton pad and some water until I have as many dots as I want but add as many as you want once it's dry I I'll use my water clear paint again and my sponge one of the new ones now I'm gonna be using the actual sponge just in the middle sized one of this pack of three I'm gonna apply my paint on my craft mat I have a review on this one if you want to check it out it's pretty handy to have if you are into crafts grabbing my paint from there removing the excess and first it's like sponging in this motion and then painting with barely any paint on the sponge just because I don't want to cover the actual like spots I just want to add a a really really thin layer of paint if you use matte though the cleanup of paint is pretty easy just with some brown cotton pad and some water and as a final step I'm going to be getting some spray gloss and because I do share a bunch of like DIY phone cases on my channel I use this gloss like method a lot and people ask me if this step is necessary if I say I like adding this step like this gloss because I want my phone case to be protected shiny and when you add this gloss it makes the whole thing like come together and just the colors pop a lot more so I would recommend using any kind of gloss you don't have to use this one that I'm using I just use this because it's like spray and it's easier working outside wearing gloves this is how I'm letting this dry by the way on top of like this dispenser I do have the review for this one it's for like from the dollar store but yeah this is the vintage confetti phone case that I want to share with you I wanted this phone case to look vintage even though cell phones weren't a thing back then but yeah inspired by vintage stuff and I actually really like it I think it's fun it's really easy to paint, so much fun to look at, and I really hope you like it as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more phone cases that I have on my channel to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later, and take care. Bye!